If they are affected by the different form, you don't see them eating. They will shoot and then they will be dying. Hello everyone, welcome to Farm Ferry. We are here to be at Unania Farms where the birds are four weeks old and we'll be administering the Falcox vaccine. I'm here with Dr. Steve, who will be sharing with us what Falcox vaccination is, why it is important for us to carry out Falcox vaccination, and then we'll get to know how we can carry out this vaccination. So Dr. Steve, can you tell us first what is um, Falcox vaccination all about? Uh, Falcox vaccination is a vaccine that is carried on on beds, other turkeys, chickens, noelas, mm. and umbrellas, pork crabs. Mm -hmm. And pox is caused as a result of mosquito bites and flies bites. Okay. So, and the pox is of two forms. So it's not just human beings that are affected by mosquitoes. I, the, the, the mosquito, uh, human beings are affected by mosquitoes. Yeah. But that one they call malaria. Yeah. And in so, but when it's when it deals with birds, it's now called it's the pox. So you know, in human we have what we also call uh, uh, that is uh, chicken, that is uh, lizards. Yes. Is it? Uh, what is that name? Uh, uh, that's a pox in human now. Chicken pox. It's not is it chicken pox. <laughs> it's chicken pox. Yeah, yes, chicken, chicken, chicken pox. Yeah, chicken pox. But this one is foul. Foul. If you say chicken pox, but yes. sometimes people misuse the terms. They say chicken pox, but that chicken pox is to human. But yes. it's not as a result of the same vector that is causing it. Mm. But this one is caused by either mosquito bites or flies bites mm -hmm. so we do the vaccine in order to prevent it from occurring in the beds okay. and it's of two forms we have the cutaneous form which you can physically see it either on the head or in the eyes swollen of the eyes mm -hmm. and forming some needles at the comb mm -hmm. that one is the cutaneous form then we have the diphtheric form that one manifested you see the manifestation when you open the bed as a result of PM, then you see it from the intestines mm. to the trachea. Mm. So if they are affected by the diphtheric form, you don't see them eating. Mm. They will be sore, they will shrink, and then they will be dying. Mm. So the essence of the vaccine is to prevent them from having such diseases. Mm. So it's a preventive measure now. It's a preventive we're measure we're taking, taking now. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Interesting. Yes. Yeah. So okay. we're doing it earlier. If we check some, depend on the environment. Mm, because I was just going to ask you what period is best to do it. You know, it, does it have to be at the fourth week or it can extend to the sixth week or even eleventh week? We we'll do it in terms of the period of the vaccination. It depends on the environment and the season. Because as I said earlier, I said it is caused as a result of mosquito bites and flies bites. And you have more of the mosquitoes during the rainy seasons because you have more of water spots around. So they, that breeds mosquito at rainy season. So you do it earlier. There are places that we even do it even at that is endemic. We we'll do it at even at even three weeks. Okay. So so that they should not have they should not they should not come down with the disease before the vaccine. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it can be from three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, but at most it should not exceed six weeks. Okay. Yes. It shouldn't exceed six, six weeks. weeks. Yes. And it should not be anything below three, three weeks. weeks. Yes. Okay. Yes. Very beautiful. Mm. So how is this um, vaccination carried out? What's the procedure? Uh, the procedure mm. is, you out. know, the vaccine comes, we have, it comes, we have the local type and we have the foreign type. But the one I'll be using on this bed today is the foreign type. Mm -hmm. Now you have the Darwin. Which is very demonstrated. You have 
This is the diluent, okay. and this is the main vaccine. This yes. is the live vaccine. This is the diluent. Mm. So you dissolve this, you dissolve the vaccine, then you can use, it can be that, it will be administered only in one spot, which is the wind wept in the bed, wind wept. Mm. You either use <laughs> what we call, some use the jab. Mm -hmm. Then some use, like me today, I'll be using the automatic syringe. I'm not using the jab, and I don't have the jab here to illustrate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'll be using automatic. the automatic yeah. syringe okay. of the pox. This is the pox vaccinator. Mm -hmm. So when it is diluted, you will turn it inside the pox vaccinator. Yeah. Then you close it. Then you can now jab. Okay, so what quantity for each bed? Is there a particular so quantity? Each, yes, yeah. each, each bed from the jab, mm -hmm. each bed is receiving 0 0.02 mils. Okay. 0 0.002 mils. Okay. Yes, per bed. Okay. Yeah. So do, do you experience failure in terms of vaccination? See, after the vaccination, it fails. Are there cases like that? Failure can occur as a result of if, let's say, from the preservation, if the vaccine is poorly preserved, mm. then the pox virus now will will go, to, uh, they will die. Okay. Then definitely when you constitute it, it's like it will, it will not work. Mm. But if it is rightly preserved, <laughs> The okay. issue of failure yes. and well administered, mm. the issue of failure will not arise. Okay. Uh, Is that why I see you with a with a small uh, yes, that's what, yes, that's what we call a this is a flat. Yes. It's a cool chain. That's what we call cool chain. You can see okay. my ice block. It has the ice in block. It. Uh, so from the refrigerator, stretch. Yes. So these are measures done to preserve, preserve the vaccination. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. excellent. Yeah. I think we are ready to begin administration now. Yes, the vaccine. Yeah.